herself. Just the slightest inkling of a chance. Wendy McPherson now will take nine spare and go quietly because that would give her 16. But if she gets three points, we'll have a roll off with Carolyn. Look out. Oh my. Oh my. From gutter to strike like that. From zero to hero oh. in about 30 feet. Check this out. I mean, it looked like she lost it off her hand just a little bit. It goes wide of target, laying on the one and a half board to high flush. So Wendy finishes with a 15. Jody just needs a three here to move on. And so she wrote. Carolyn Dor Ballard will stick around to watch the next match to see if she gets eliminated. Jody Wessner takes down two Hall of Famers with a 12. Best score would have been a 10. That's a perfect game, folks. So Wessner moves on. Wendy Mack will bowl again. Will Carolyn Doran Ballard join her? Well, we'll have to settle match number two to find out. And match number two comes up next from Lake Wales. Match number one of the PBA Women's Series Showdown has gone to Jody Wessner with a 12-point victory over two Hall of Famers, and so we know she moves on. Who will join her? Match number two, Michelle Feldman, Stephanie Nation, Missy Bellender on deck. We welcome you back to Central Florida. We are in Lake Wales at the Kegel Training Center for our continuing coverage of the PBA Women's Series Showdown presented by the USBC, and our thanks to Pete Treadwell, the USBC Vice President here in Lake Wales. Always enjoy seeing Pete in the house. Match number one in the books. We move on now to match number two. Stephanie Nation, your number three seed, taking on five seed Missy Bellender and number two seed Michelle Feldman. And Michelle standing by with three N. Thanks, Rob. Michelle, we talked earlier and you said that because of your style of play, you could be likely to leave one of those difficult spares out there. And with, with this new scoring system, are you going to change your style at all today? Yeah, I'm trying not to hook it as much today because I am more likely to uh, maybe big four or four count through the middle or Greek church. So I'm going to try not to do that because I don't want to have a six in one frame. So my goal is to not try to hook it as much and just try to keep it in play. Everything changes, guys, with the new scoring system here today. Yeah, absolutely. Michelle, a big power player, and that may actually come back to haunt her. It is a game of spares. Match number two from the Kevin Training Center in Lake Wales when we return. Huge fan advantage here for Stephanie Nation, bold collegiately, not too far from here at the University of Central Florida. But we begin. Match number two with our fifth seed, Missy Bellender. I guess you could call it Stephanie's Nation. You could, Randall, you could. Well, nice start for Missy Bellender, who unfortunately for her had some big struggles on television in this past season, but getting off to a quick start. Michelle Feldman, speaking of quick starts, at the Pepsi Viper Championship, the first one on the PBA Women's Series Tour. She finished second. Taylor Michigan, a couple weeks later, won it. Two weeks later in Vernon Hills, Illinois, she won again. Really she leaves the 10. And here is Michelle and her thoughts on the scoring system today. I think it'll be fun. We've never really done anything really different like the guys are doing this year. They're doing all these different things on TV. Uh, I think it'll be good for us. I think it'll be good to see us in a different environment than just, you know, shooting our regular games and, and one goes and one goes and one goes. So I think it'll be different. I think it'll be more interesting. And my, and my friends and family are definitely looking forward to seeing it on TV. Again, we're using the Johnny Petraglia scoring system. So Michelle Feldman needed two shots to clear all 10 pins. So she gets two points for that frame. Essentially, a strike means you took all 10 down with one shot. You get one point. The lower your point total, the better off you are. The number to keep in mind, 17. Carolyn Doran Ballard, that was the high score in match number one. So essentially, all three of these are trying to get a score lower than 17 so they can continue to roll in the next match and the match after that. Did that make sense? That was brilliant. Mm. 
Bit of home field advantage here for Stephanie Nation. The entire bowling team from the University of Central Florida where she bowled and graduated from is here. There they are, the Golden Knights. You see them in their black and gold. Here's Feldman to begin the second. So no strikes yet from two frames for Feldman. So if she can convert this, she will now have four points after two frames. And this is exactly what Michelle Feldman talked about in our interview when asked if she liked the cheetah pattern. She said, no, I got to get in and I got to hook it. I get an over under ball reaction. If I get it right too quick, it overhooks. If I get it in, it goes too long. That's what that shot just did. Well, she has one of those games too, Randy, that could leave some ugly spares if she doesn't strike big, which she normally does. Well, her big advantage is power. And most of the time on the tour, because of the oil patterns, she could play in the middle part of the lane and really open up, open up the oil pattern. And she was basically the only woman on their tour that could do that. So when she had it, she had it all to herself. Here's Nation's effort in the second frame. She struck in the first, has one point through one. And Rob, you can see that this is right in Stephanie Nation's wheelhouse. She likes to be firm. She can get right, keep that elbow and that hand up the back and give it some speed and let the oil pattern and the dry boards to the right walk that ball right to the 1-3 pocket. She did it that time beautifully. And I like her focus, trying to stay calm with all those supporters behind her. Ellen in the second, struck in the first. Wow, that looked left the target and still got there. That was uh, pretty amazing to get the 10 out like that. Two down, Nation Feldman. Bellander done with two. Nation and Bellander in the lead. Able Training Center here in Lake Wells, Florida for ESPN's continuing coverage of the PBA Women's Series Showdown presented by USBC. Let's take a look at some of our numbers, in particular rev rate. Michelle Feldman, over 400. That's what the average male player does on the men's tour. They get up in that 400, 450 range. That's for the guys that really get after. That's what Michelle Feldman does. So because of that, she has to play much farther left than Stephanie Nation does. And on Cheetah pattern, that's not the route to success. Straighter is greater on Cheetah. And Due to time constraints, we move further ahead in our coverage of the PBA Women's Series Showdown presented by USBC. The number to beat is 17. For Michelle Feldman to get under that number, she would need one more strike and two spares. She would get under that number by one. And that number held by Corlin, Carolyn Dorn Ballard. No strike there. That's okay, though. She converts that spare. And gets a strike in one of the next two frames after that and converts another spare. She slides in under the number. The only issue is she's shooting the 2-5, and this is a very choppable spare. Feldman hoping to pick this one up for a 2. 2. Look Hook. out, look out. Mm -mm. So she'll keep going. Yeah, you called it, Randy. I'm not really sure how to go for that. And, and that's the problem, Rob, when you try to hook the ball at spares. You're at the mercy of the oil pattern. Okay, a little bit left of that, and that ball might have hooked by it and chopped the two off the five. When you throw the ball straight and hard at spares, you take the oil pattern out of play. And that's the first three-point frame for any of our competitors here in match two. And so what that does to Michelle Feldman is she now must strike 